That ship went down about 17 seconds. It was gone. The fire went out and the thing submerged and was sunk. That was the end of that. War is hell, Bill. It's a quote from General William T. Sherman. 95-year-old Joe Mongelli has seen it firsthand from a World War II submarine. And when this ship was hit, it blew up and lit up the world, and you could see all the Japanese jumping off the ship. Yeah, uh, Joe and other veterans have been telling war stories like that since 1972 at the New Jersey Navy Museum in Hackensack. The centerpiece is the USS Ling, a World War II era submarine where school kids, veterans, history buffs, anyone who cared to could learn American military history, see the sights, and remember those who gave all. All that stuff, however, may soon be coming to an end. We're confused here by what the city is doing. We're very clear, however, on what the property owner is doing, and that's get out. You couldn't do the whole upscope, downscope thing if the thing weren't 50 feet long, could you? <laughs> that's what a periscope looks like. But how would you know? The museum had been on a dollar a year lease since the early 1970s. A gift uh, from the veteran grandfather of the property's current owner, Stephen Borg. That lease was up at the end of May. The plan now, redevelopment, including condos and a hotel. Museum volunteers say that change is good. They just wanted to be included in it. No one in this association wants to see a major project, redevelopment project in the city of Hackensack go away. Right. We think it's a win for that city. Sure. What we were looking for was the win-win-win. And the win-win-win is that the memorial gets recognized for the 46 years that it's been here. And Bill, what you're seeing here are alternative plans drawn up by friends of the museum that show how the museum could easily be included in the redevelopment plans without uh, losing the hotel or the condominiums, anything actually. They say the river's got to be dredged for the river walk there anyway, but there's no getting around the importance of the Ling and the submarine memorial to those who love it. And I just brought my kids here a couple years ago and they were loving it too and it's just a tradition it needs to continue i wouldn't be a united states marine if it wasn't for the uss link his father had brought him there and it turned him on in the military as it stands now bill a volunteer say they're getting nothing out of hackensack except an offer to store some items submarines in six feet of water mired in the mud uh, so she really can't be moved as of now the future of the ling is in doubt but if she can't be saved uh, she will be left to rust in the mud I had a similar experience as a kid uh, when uh, my dad took me to a ship that was uh, docked in Charleston, South Carolina. The Yorktown. The Yorktown's yeah. there. And I, like that, that had a huge impression on me. Me too. And I went in the Marines I've been there. You know, yeah. years later. The fact that they're trying to compromise and even went as far as drawing out a plan so that they, they could still have the condominiums and have the submarines still there. I mean, they're trying. If I'm a developer, I want to embrace that history. Of course. This is one of the most unique ships from World War II that it could spend equal time on the surface and under the water. So there's a uniqueness to this ship. I, I would think that this ship could be a part of something and be part of the draw.